It's real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, I just don't want to be a mess in no, front of you. No, you don't apologize at all. Don't apologize. I just feel like this house broke down like the worst. It does. I feel like a horrible person in you here. You are not a horrible person, Sarah. Things are said in the heat of moment, and that doesn't mean you're a horrible person. You've shown time and time again that you're a loving, caring, kind person. You don't mean things when, you know, you were just slighted hugely by somebody that you cared about and somebody you thought that you had a relationship with that would carry on behind, outside of this house. So yes, like, things might have been said, but it doesn't mean that you're a bad person in any way, shape, or form. Okay? You know you're an amazing, amazing person. And don't let some stupid little situation and some stupid little game ever let you think anything different. I just, in the outside world, I try so hard not to hurt pe people. And in here, it's like... That's what you're here to do. Like, I just... I know, but my words hurts, can hurt so many more people than just people that are here. Well, you know what? That's why we got a warning. That's why we are now going to play what little left of this game that we have with integrity. And no matter what is said or done, we can feel good about how we left this game. Okay? So don't let some stupid little few words that escaped your mouth that you feel like you're anything but an amazing person. Because you are. And Pop loves you. <laughs> and I talked to Arlie. And I told him that it's known, we all know, but I don't want this time in the house that we have left to be awkward and weird. And I said, basically I said, touche, this is a game and you're playing it hard. And um, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna come into this game with emotion and create relationships like I have with Mumsy, but I did, because I can't help it, it's who I am. And touche to you for being able to do the game moves that you've done because, honestly, you're in a better position than we are right now. But Mumsy is an emotional person just like me. And I know that she considered the relationship that you had to be something that was bigger than this game. So I said, I'd, I'm not telling you to do anything, but I really would appreciate it if you talked to her and just explained to her that what you did wasn't a personal slight. I know it wasn't. I know you know that, but it's, sometimes it's nice to actually hear it. I know, and he did, like, over throughout the day, he has come to me and been like, are you okay, can I talk to you, or do you want to talk about anything? I'm just like, no, like, I would, we'll talk when I'm out and I feel better. Yeah, I know, it's still so fresh, like, hours fresh. <laughs> sucks. I hate the fact that I actually love you is actually a horrible thing in here. <laughs> it is. It's a blessing and a fucking curse. But you know what? Not all those people are going to win this game and they're probably going to walk away with less than what we have. You're going to win. <laughs> well, that would be lovely, but... <sighs> I'm saying this time and time again. I'm not getting my hopes up in this fucking house.
fuck, it's gonna be so shitty when you leave. I'm just, I'm like, not only that, I just am so sad that you live so far away. Mm-hmm. Listen, when you get home like, and you I'm, see I your s- babies, it'll be <laughs> my hairy ass <laughs> the furthest thing from your mind when you see your two little girls and your jasson. I know. And Laura lives in Calgary, so I'll definitely be out that way. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> so it's not even a, it's not even a thing. I know. It's just sometimes you just meet people that are just people that are supposed to be in your life. And we will be. I'm not letting you scurry away. <laughs> no way. <sighs> Fuck. I miss you, that's for sure. Oh my god, try not to kill people in this house. Oh my god. I think a lot of hiding is going to be done by me for the next, <laughs> for the next while. You're going to be the new mumsy hiding oh everywhere. Oh my god, I'm going to be hiding in the dryer and fucking <laughs> anywhere and everywhere I can find. Oh my god, the gremlins are going to drive you nuts. Too. I just, I went in the room just and I was like, I'm an honorary gremlin. And so I was like, I'm so sorry you left here with us. Don't be sorry. <laughs> but also will be sorry. <laughs> oh man. It's just weird when you <laughs> like when you know you're going home and then so there's no game stuff that can be done now. Yeah. It's just like weird. I know. I wish you could use your slop pad so you can at eat before you leave. Fuck, I hate myself for that, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I am an idiot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I told you to use it. I know. I'm just, fuck, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, if I would have been on slop with two people I hated, I could have. Yeah. I know. I know why you did it, and I can see where you're coming from. I mean... <laughs> Thinking the position we were in, it was a smart move, really. Yeah. Because you were thinking longevity. But. I honestly never even, like, I never even thought I would possibly be going home this week. Seriously. It was crazy. It was and, fucking game can oh change. Oh, my God. It's so crazy. And in my mind, I was, like, trying to accept the fact that if Canada doesn't have a seat, that, okay, like, I'm just, I was just trying to psych myself out and be like, okay, four more weeks till I see my kids. Okay. And then, wow, fuck, did the tides ever change? In an instant. Arlie did warn me, though, after I hugged you in the, um, in the POV. He hugged me, and he's like, don't act so excited. That was my fault. I shouldn't have done nope, that. Nope, it was not. I hugged you, and I did not let go. That was absolutely fuck. not your fault. <sighs> A million, million percent. It was my fault from the beginning for making it so obvious that you were the person in this house that I cared about the most. 